Fresher Booking System Tutorial. How to use Fresher. Good day ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how you can use Fresher. It is the number one software platform for salons and spas. If you have a salon or a spa or if you are um, managing the bookings of a salon or a spa, then this is a great piece of software for you. So just going down over here on the homepage, this is fresher.com, you can have a look at a few of the things that they offer here, such as this um, very intuitive, very active calendar. Um, there are also some uh, top rated destinations for beauty and wellness. Uh, they've got tons of partners, uh, tons of appointments booked and um, stylists and professionals. So it is definitely something that you want to learn how to use. Um, so you can also um, have appointment um, scheduling. Um, they offer you great payment processing. They offer you a point of sales um, support, marketing promotions, product inventory, and in online store as well as reporting and analytics so that's definitely something that you want to include in a piece of software like this because um, you can manage all your bookings and your um, sales all from one point but you also want to be able to access all your reports and your analytics so that you can actually see what is going on as you go down here you know they just have some additional um, information about what it is that they offer and there are some reviews as well so once you have um, pretty much done what you need to do and read through all of this over here it does offer the opportunity to pick a business type to get started for free now you can either do this or you can tap on the sign up for free and you will basically get to this page over here. Basically what this page offers is the opportunity to sign up for, um, uh, basically the first option is for everyone and this says book salons and spas near you. And this is basically if you want to make a booking. The next thing is for a business and this is if you want to manage and grow your business using Fresher. So once you have selected um, the for business option, which is the reason we're here today, you will get over to um, a few processes where you have to sign up, you enter an email address and a few of your basic details. Then you have your business name and I've called it the closest cut. You can go up to the top right hand side, there is a next step button, you can tap on that. There is also the option to enter a website over there, so if you do actually have a website, if your business has a website, you can just put it in over there. Over here, um, you have to now start setting up your account and it asks you what services do you offer, so if you're looking at haircuts and styling, nail services, eyebrows and lashes, whatever it is here that you actually offer, you can select this. So I'm going to select haircut and styling and as you can see over here it does say that that is the primary um, service that we offer we are going to do eyebrows and lashes as well and um, we are going to do facials and the skin care when you're done you can tap on the next step button up on the top right hand side then you need to enter how many people are within your team I'm just gonna say that it is two to five and you can just tap on the next step then you need a business location and this is actually a physical address if you have a physical address where your business is operating or if not you can just tap on the I don't have a business address and this means that your business is mobile or and online services so we're gonna select that for now and that's no problem if you do have a location do enter this in over here because when someone is making a booking it'll um, give them information as to where you're located and if somebody's looking for a service that you provide within their area and you come up within that area, then you will be suggested to them through the app. Again, it says um, what software are you currently using? If you are using software currently, you can just um, select whatever it is that you are using over here. And if you're not using anything at all, you can just say I'm not using any software and that's the last option. If you find that um, whatever software you're using is not here, there is also an other. And if you tap that, you can just enter in the software that you're using. For now, we're going to go in and say um, I'm not using any software currently. And uh, we can now go ahead and we can um, 
tap on the next step right at the top right hand side now it says how did you hear about fresher and this is basically just you know trying to figure out where they are um, getting their their leads from and once you've chosen your option you can go ahead and you can tap on done your business is now set up on fresher and you can actually start using it so they have a setup guide as you can add your business address your website service list team members and your working hours but for now um, if you'd like to do that you can go ahead and do so what we're going to do is we are going to close that window and we're going to run through a bit of the details that they have on this dashboard so this is your home page and um, this is your business over here and this um, tab over here is who is actually um, on your team so what we're going to do is on the left hand side you can see that of course there's a home button and this is what your home page looks like you can see your recent sales upcoming appointments appointment activity today's next appointment top team member and your top services then going again into the left hand side you have the calendar now this is quite nice you can now add appointments right over here on the top right hand side all you have to do is tap on add and then you can either add a new appointment a new blocked time or a new sale so if you want to add a new appointment let us just tap on new appointment and now you can select a time to book so let us say that it is um, six o'clock in the evening and that's great so once you have done that it'll open this window on the right hand side you can now select a client you can leave it empty if it is a walk-in or you can enter the details there then um, it's got the date and you can just change the date over there if you would like to and then you can add a service so either yeah you know the haircut uh, the hair color the blow and so forth and this now of course um, is something that you can define of course this is not something that is just preset so once you're done with that you've chosen all of these options uh, you can go ahead and you can tap on save on the bottom right hand side of the screen and uh, once all of this has um, been done you can go ahead and you can tap on save and you can see now that it'll come up over here now let's say that this person has decided to um, push their appointment a little bit back we can just click down and we can hold in our um, our mouse and we can just drag it over to the next um, time slot and we can also change it to the next date if we would like to um, on the left hand side again um, on the uh, toolbar you can have a look at your sales you've got new sales dailies your appointments um, your payment transactions gift cards and your memberships so you can go ahead now and you can um, you can start um, monitoring and managing your sales right over here then um, you have the clients tab and this is a list of your clients here you can add new clients if you have repeat clients so you can go ahead and on the top right hand side you can just tap on add client and there are a few options you can either um, export as an excel spreadsheet a csv um, you can also import clients and then you can merge um, two clients if you have uh, two clients that are maybe duplicates you want to uh, merge them into one you can do so so um I think that's pretty much self-explanatory all you need to do then is add a client and add all the details of that client uh, the next thing is your catalog now this is um, something that you can now start defining so as you can see over here there's hair and styling and everything is already preset so let's say for example we're going to tap on the haircut over here and you can now see that it gives you the editing um, page so the basic info is you can add a service name and you can choose the service type so you can change the service name um it's a woman's haircut or it's a beard trimming or a man's haircut whatever it is you can just select that over there and then the service category you can change that as well and the service description you can enter in a description if you would like to also there's an aftercare description so um you know whatever you need to put in there if it's something that does require some aftercare you can put all the details there and then also um, the service is available only for females or males or you can just have it available for everyone of course um, up at the top over here the service type does say woman's haircut so we can go ahead and we can just tap on females only and then you have the option to um, have this service booked online 
and it says enable online bookings this uh, will allow you to choose who the service is available for and you can add a short description so that's great somebody's coming on they want to read a little bit about what they get to book what it all entails maybe you do like a wash or like a treatment before your cut whatever it is you can add it in all over there then your teams you can assign certain team members to um, this particular service and you can com manage their commissions here from then you have the team member commissions you can either toggle that on or off and then you get to the pricing and the duration now i know of course every client will have a different sort of need so this duration is a more or less and you can define it right over here um, you can also um, define the type of um, pricing options so you can go either from this amount to that amount you can have it a free service or you can have it a fixed price so um, the next thing you want to do is enter the amount that this service costs and then the pricing name you can just edit something in there if you would like to there are also additional pricing options that you can add and you can also enable the extra time if it's going to cost extra time after the service. Then you have your sales settings so you can now set your tax um, uh, your tax rate over here and once you've done that once you're ready um, with all the changes that you've made you're going to go up to the top right hand side you're going to tap on save. Now once that's saved it'll say the service is saved and that service is now there. Again, on the left hand side, you have your online profile and over here you have your marketplace profile. This is basically where you can attract new clients with your online booking. So you can really like build this up so that people, when they see it, they really, really are invited to want to use your service. You can also see that there's um, Facebook and Instagram bookings and you can also um, book and reserve a timer space with Google. Also. There is a link builder, so you can create shareable links and QR codes for anything that your client can book or buy online. So you can do that all over here. Then, of course, you have your engagement, and this you can see um, who is doing what and how. So it says reward and retain clients with deals, so you can really start engaging with people um, that use your services or um, potential clients. And um, there's deals, there's smart pricing, and there's also integration, so you can manage all of that over here. And um, a second to last, you have your reports tab, and now you can see um, all of your, your appointments, your online appointments, your um, your total income, your average sales, uh, client retention, all of this detail, and um, you can read it all over here. Now, analytics are important so that you can see what works, when it works, and how it works. The last thing, if you have a look on the left-hand side, right at the bottom, you have your business settings. This is basically where you can set up your account from your business details to location to online bookings, your resources, as well as your clients, your notifications, your referral sources, and your cancellation reasons. If you go down here, you also have sales, you have services, you have your team settings, and uh, you can pretty much define everything you'd like in over here. Now, the best thing to do is jump in and start exploring with all the buttons, check out what is available um, on pressure and start using it as your booking system and see how it works for you i'm sure it's going to be great it's a very easy system to use and it's actually got a ton of features i hope you enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to leave us a like don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you in the next video cheers for now